Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Geeks 2. And today, guys, welcome back to another uh, episode with Ike. I don't know what the fuck we're doing today. Uh, I'm just kidding. I do know what we're doing today, but fun fact it is currently March 24th and it is 5 12 p.m. I just got off work. Um, so, work has been absolutely fucking insane. And I finally had some time today to record the video that I wanted to make. Now, here's the deal. It's not going to be the video that I wanted to make. Um, instead, we're going to be uh, reviewing and uh, responding and reacting to some comments that you guys have left on my videos. So here's the deal. I know that I'm not that big. Well, I'm large, like spatially speaking, but <laughs> I'm not like a big YouTuber. But I have had one video that kind of blew up. It was, I think, the God's Ego Death video. Um, yeah, either, no, I think it was Ego Death or maybe Last Wish. God's Last Wish or God's Ego Death. Both of them did pretty well, but one of them is approaching 20,000 views, and that would be great. That's awesome, amazing, fantastic. And we're at 1,300 subscribers, subs, subscribers, subscribers on the YouTube channel, and I love it. I love it, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. But I wanted to review some of these comments because I was going through the other day and I guess I didn't know this first of all, fun fact, um, YouTube will hold comments from being published if it like meets some metric. Like sometimes it'll just be the most random shit that I don't know why they're holding for review, but I have to go in and publish them. So I recently went in and published a bunch of them that I didn't know were being held for review. And I screenshotted some ones, uh, comments that is, that I thought were funny, that I was like, hell yeah, let's just go ahead and talk about these. So I screenshotted them for like a future video, and that future video is today. So, we're gonna get into this. Um, these are in no specific order. Uh, for the ones that matter, I'll tell you what video they're from, just in case you're like, oh hey, what, do I, what was that video? And I wanna watch it now. So yeah, but sorry this isn't a conspiracy theory. Sorry that this isn't something else. I'm sorry that you have to deal with this. I'm so sorry but I didn't have time. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about some comments that you fuckers left on my fucking stuff. Starting us off, we have Xavier Demi. It's a D-E, uppercase M-I, said, I didn't know about Tara's story, Ike. Thank you for educating us on the topic of this injustice. Why would a sheriff provide those details without any action? How did he get that information? Why wouldn't he disclose the name of those two boys? So many questions. Everyone deserves justice. Sometimes the law prevails to pro, pro, fails to provide it. Uh, if you haven't watched it, this is from my Terra Calico video. Um, and what he's referencing was that during the Terra Calico like investigation, years later, I think like into the 2010s, uh, somebody came forward, it was a sheriff, who had supposedly come into contact with information that confirmed that two people did in fact kill Car Tara Calico, or two or three, uh, but he was not at liberty to discuss who they were. So it just was really suspicious, uh, and I 100% agree, Xavier. I don't know, honestly, I don't know why he would do that. If anything, it just draws suspicion to him, so in my opinion, it wasn't about a good idea to reveal that information, but I guess to each their own. But thanks for watching, Xavier. Appreciate it. Mick Make Love says, "Does anyone know where to find the actual audio? I've been trying to find it. Can't actually find it." So uh, this wonderful comment was in regards to the Rap.MP3 video that I made not too long ago, uh, slash Memphis Occultism. So Memphis Occultism Rap.MP3 is an audio file that's supposed to be of like an actual murder, I believe, that is inserted in the background of a bunch of different popular rap songs. Um, and yeah, I don't know where the audio is that it's referencing. I, it might exist. I don't know. A lot of these theories are just speculative. So it's very hard for me to even say with certainty that it does exist. I would even go as far to say that if I had to bet money, it probably doesn't. But if you do find it, it's probably on some deep, dark 4chan, you know, hole somewhere. So if you do end up finding it, let me know, buddy. But yeah, no, I have, I have no fucking clue. Duke Deck says, do you not realize it doesn't take people 10 seconds to read one word? I'm vividly aware of how long it should take someone to read a word, but I was very new to editing, Duke. You can be kinder. The Hot Tub Man said, Lester from Beluga 
Is that you? If you don't know who Lester from Beluga is, it's this guy. I'm not this guy. Not, I'm not a complete neckbeard. I do run a Discord ch channel. It's not very successful. So it's not as successful as Lester is. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not this guy. Sorry. Rai M says, but this is implying that in every alternate universe, because we don't exist, our consciousness does. Why? If we aren't, if we are don't exist, why would our consciousness exist? So this was on, I believe, the prenatal quantum nightmare, I think. Yeah, I think so. So a prenatal quantum nightmare, if you've never seen it, it's this one. Um, basically, in the prenatal quantum nightmare, the concept is that even if we are not born in like an alternate timeline, because this, this obviously relies on the fact that there are infinite universes, string theory and all that. But if there are in fact all, all infinite universes, there have to be some universes or some alternate, you know, areas where like basically you and I haven't been born or don't get born. So like if you aren't born or if there is a timeline where you haven't been born yet, it's the concept that your consciousness, which like is above that of like physical, you know, it's above physical existence. Like your consciousness exists on a separate level than like my physical body. And my consciousness lives on after I die or when I don't exist. So if it lives on after I don't exist in a different timeline, then I am aware of the fact that I do not exist on that timeline. It's really fucking confusing. I honestly don't remember if that's all that I explained in the video, but that's like the TLDR. Uh, check that video out if you want to or don't, I don't care. So I realized I didn't answer his question. <laughs> so <laughs> let's, let's actually do that. He says, why? Okay, I don't know why. Um, why not? That's the question. No, I'm kidding. Um, basically, this is, this is drawing on a lot of assumptions, my friend. I, I, I don't, we'll get to this later, but like 99% of these theories, I don't believe in, all right? But like, this is like saying if we were to hypothetically put ourselves in a position where like all of these prerequisites are met, ultimate universes exist, string theory, infinite universes, all of that, all of that exists without question. We also have to assume that our consciousness does exist uh, across planes, basically. So like my consciousness on this, uh, this universe is the same as this universe or that it exists in some form of perpetuity or perpetuity or whatever the fuck the word is. Basically, it's making a lot of assumptions, all right? So there is no why. <laughs> it's just saying that if this is how it is, then that would be fucked up. I don't really know if it exists though. I really can't say. All right, I'm sorry. I can't I can't answer your question. Don't unsubscribe. If you are subscribed, if you're not subscribed, do subscribe. Yeah. Saad El Alam says, keep grinding. I will in fact keep grinding. I know you meant grinding, but I appreciate your support genuinely. And I will keep grinding. Jota Kuja, or Kujo, I'm sorry, Jota Kujo says, who even am I? This is on the God's Ego Death video. I don't know who you are. I don't know who I am. What if we're all just a hive mind? We all exist together, but apart. But one day we come back together. A hive mind. Who are you? Who am I? Who are we? The ultimate Ormus says, video is well produced. I appreciate that. I don't remember what video this is from, um, but I, I appreciate the compliment. I don't think it's relevant what video it's from, or maybe it is relevant, I don't know. But yeah, appreciate it, I try. Jvance131 says, you're a cool guy, man. Been following the channel for a few months now, keep it up. You're seriously talented and getting better and better at talking at the camera, uh, which is not easy, in parentheses. I appreciate that a lot, Jay. Um, it is difficult talking to a camera. I've gotten used to it a little bit. I did a lot of uh, camera work in high school. Um, so I have a little bit of experience being in front of a camera. Um, I have tried the whole YouTube thing before, done the videoing and everything else. Most of my experiences though have been with like podcasting. Um, I, I have been on a somewhat successful podcast called Dave Dynasty Show. Um, if you like wrestling, specifically Midwest wrestling, or just like wrestling in general, check it out, Dave Dynasty Show. Uh, DaveDynastyShow.com, I believe is the website. We have t-shirts and shit. I mean, I'm on that pretty often. I'm also on a podcast called uh, The Nothing Podcast or The Podcast About Nothing, which I'll actually be posting a video about here pretty soon. So yeah, check, check that out, if you will, please. 
four for four. So I don't know why, but I put two of his comments in here. Jay Vance 131, so I'll go ahead and read it. But uh, Jay, again, this is Jay Vance 131, my buddy Jay. Hey, bro, just want to say I've been watching your videos for a while now. Keep it up. You really are talented and becoming better and better talking to a camera over time, which people think is easy, but it's not. So keep it up, bro. I'm going to keep watching. Take care, brother. Listen here, brother. Brothers, brother, 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 brother. I'm fighting for life, brother. I'll take care. You take care, brother. But yeah, absolutely. Um, talking to a camera is not as easy as it seems. Um, it is a little bit difficult to kind of get used to the whole concept of looking at the camera. Sometimes I forget. I'm Normally I'm staring at the middle of my fucking screen, but I need to be looking to the left where my camera is so that, like I'm making eye contact with you. But I am always staring at the middle of the screen. So at least I'm looking at the camera trying to at least portray eye contact. I don't know. Anyways. Thank you so much, Jay. I really appreciate your support. You actually left another comment. I do remember now. So I really appreciate your constant interaction on the page. So you are the best. You all are the best. All of my subscribers are the best. All the people who comment on my videos are the best. So yeah, thanks. A man, not, a man or person by the name of Unsub commented, LMAO, same, same. C. James hits me with the hard, cold truth of these conspiracy theories. Yeah, that's kind of dumb. But thanks for putting it out there so that I know what it is. So I'm like, God's last wish for the video. You're very welcome, C. James. Um, this kind of circles back to what I was talking about earlier. A lot of the shit that I talk about makes no fucking sense whatsoever, right? I am, I am by no means disillusioned with the fact that most of my content is about things that make no sense. I just like talking about it. It likes, it, it's fun, all right? It's fun talking about this shit. I get it. A lot of it's stupid, but like, it's cool to talk about, to theorize about. There are very few things that I feel like I would actually say that I actually believe in. I usually say it when I talk about it, if I actually believe in things. Uh, but if I don't, you can probably assume that I either don't believe in it or I find it very implausible. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate the, the feedback though, C. James. I do. Brent Selma get, hit me with another cold hard truth. You need to add visuals here and there, bro. People's attention spans nowadays are pretty short. Interesting topic, but execution could be better. And I don't want people to hate on this guy. There are some people to hate on, and I'll tell you when. Specifically, the guy who commented about 10 seconds reading one word. You can hate on him, just not just not this guy. Brent, J Brent Selma, don't hate on him, because he's right. He actually gave me the idea to continue to add more and more visuals and I'm trying to do better, you know, adding little memes and clips and shit into my video to make it more entertaining and more, you know, dynamic. So do appreciate the feedback. I'm always looking to implement more, but just keep in mind there are times where there is just simply nothing to fucking put in these videos because some of this shit makes no sense. Ronnie Dalamush says, I saw God's last wish in ayahuasca. His gestures was the ones that pushed me through all the hard moments so I can finally see it with my bare eyes. I can't really write the wish, and I can't explain it. I'm so glad there are Redditors that are far from this drug, but still fascinating by his theories. Yes, I'm still far away from the final understanding as I see it. I believe it'll pop in my head in the last seconds of my life. So my God's Last Wish video. Um, what? What the actual fuck did you just say to me right now? Get out of my... Sight. Get out of my sight. I mean, I guess the ayahuasca kind of makes sense. Like, that's what they take in the desert to, like, reach enlightenment, right? Which, speaking of, uh, I had, there were actually some comments that kind of addressed this, but on God's ego death, a lot of people reach that ego death concept by taking drugs. Um, but thanks, Ronnie. Thank you for the comment and the enlightenment. I hope that you do not know the final understanding for a very long time. I wish you a long, happy, and healthy life. Um, but I appreciate your story of your time on ayahuasca, um, where God's gestures pushed you through the hard moments so you could see it with your bare eyes. Bare eyes. Last but not least, last but not least, I, I want to. This is a special in in injunction or a special inclusion um, of who I would call a clown. Nishiki Coogan. Bro, why are you waffling so much? Once again, I'm so sorry if this hurts anyone or any nihilist. Bro said this 50 times after reading the definition of nihilism. Put a disclaimer in the beginning if this might offend anyone and get to the point. Saw my despair code video. Listen, man, listen. I know I don't got a big following. I don't. 
but don't clown on me, bro. Please, please. On a on a real note, like I get it. The despair code was like a relatively early video. Like if you look at the timeline of like Geek Stew and the shit that I've been doing on here, the despair code is a relatively early video. So if you compare that video to like the last video I did about like fire is live, water is sentient. Starkly different videos, my guy. Starkly different videos. I do want to go back and revisit some of these concepts with a little bit of a fresh take, a little bit of fresh eyes. Some things that I've talked about before that maybe I want to talk about again. So, Despair Code will probably be one of those. Eventually, I want to revisit all the stuff on the final tier of the iceberg. So, I probably just make a video about revisiting all of it. So, that way, it all gets put in one big video or some shit. But, yeah. Cool shit, Nishiki, Coogan. Don't be a clown, bro. Don't be a clown. So that's going to be it for today, guys. That's all the comments that I'm going to re respond to for now. There were lots of comments, and these are some of the ones that I kind of felt like would be good, you know, starting points to respond to or good things to talk about. Um, of course, I mentioned a lot of videos in this episode, so feel free to check out those links in the description down below. These are some of the more popular videos I've put out. Um, so if you haven't seen them yet, I would highly recommend seeing them. You can also check out the uh, Conspiracy Theories playlist on the channel. Conspiracy Theories playlist is honestly probably the best thing on the channel. Um, just play that bad boy, watch it start to finish. I kind of go all over the place. There's lots of different stuff that I get to talk about. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Um, small update about me, now that I have you. Now that I have your attention, small update about Ike. So, I, like I've mentioned a couple times, I am moving soon, so this room's a fucking mess. Probably the next time that you see me in a video, there's going to be a bunch of shit behind me, like boxes and shit. So, uh, just want to kind of say, I apologize for the mess. Um, but it is what it is. I'm moving, so just going to have to kind of get over it. My, the, my background may not be as aesthetic in the future um, until we move. But from, from now until then... You know, I do appreciate everyone sticking with me. Um, I'm going to try and make sure I get some more videos put up. I know I took a week off and I did prepare a bunch of scripts. This one was one of them. Uh, but the thing was, is that I still have the video of them, right? And that's kind of the part that gets a little hinky. I, I get, get, get working on shit and I get doing stuff and then I'm like, oh fuck, I got to make a video this week. And if I don't, who's going to know? Um, but there are some people, there are some people who would know, specifically this guy. I missed him too. I did. I did. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like, please give us a like, a subscribe, give us a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite video is. I really appreciate it. I really, 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 really would. Um, let me know what you guys think about these types of videos. Do you like kind of hearing from the funnier side of things? If you do, I'm more than happy to do them again. I actually posted something earlier today, so I'm not sure if anybody will actually respond to it, but I eventually would like to do a full on Q and A with you guys. Um, just with some questions about myself because I don't know if that's something you guys want, but if not, oh, well, fuck it. Have a great day guys. Um, if you are watching this, it's on Friday. So have a wonderful Friday and a wonderful weekend. Enjoy your week next week. And as always, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, stay awesome, and we will catch you in the next one. See ya.